it seems to me basically the story that is told in this book is um, people on the left who were extremely energized in their opposition to what the Bush administration called the War on Terror. These people organized themselves, mobilized. They had the law schools. They had the universities. Eventually, they had the courts. They had first the left-wing media, then the mainstream media. Uh, on page um, 200, you have this quote from Ken Anderson, who speaks of the international legal media, academic, NGO, international organization, global opinion, complex. <laughs> Which that, yeah, that covers it. Now, I think none of them are really kind of mainstream. You could say the media, but people actually are canceling their newspaper subscriptions and not watching main, uh, network news that much anymore. But, but that complex of actors were mobilized. They really wanted to thwart and expose and make trouble for the Bush administration. And the country was kind of, I don't know, maybe, uh, the country was kind of left out. Um, if you think of that complex as being an interest group, which is very engaged, um, what's the countering interest group? I, I really couldn't quite conceive it. Talk radio, Fox News, GMU. Uh, maybe not so many heavy hitters on the, on the other side, and actually none of them can do the same kind of digging. Virtual talk radio doesn't. They don't have inspector generals to help them. Uh, and if you think about the issues in play, it seems to me all the weight was on one side. You say, ah, people are being tortured. Ah, this individual is being held, and he's really innocent. And you point to all the excesses and abuses, <laughs> And on the other side is, yes, but maybe we are safer. How can you prove that? It's either classified or it's unknowable anyway.